This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Oh boy, I captured something amazing on this underwater video. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is uh, courtesy of this camera drone that's coming back to the boat from under the dock. And my objective was I wanted to poke around different parts of this dock that stretches out pretty far and um, see like, you know, what's where, what's the best spots, what fish are in what areas. And you can see the drone is way up ahead of me, up in the pilings, and I'm trying to keep it away from me. I don't want to spook the fish that I'm trying to get on video. I'm using my phone to control the motion of that camera drone and I'm also able to see um, live real-time video from it so I see what um, the camera sees underwater while it's happening and it's awesome you know I can just drive it in there get it right where I want it to go without me going in there and spooking the fish all right so I started on the outside of the dock it's really like a pier it's got like a t-shaped structure to it uh, dropping down in you know, the max depth here's only six feet of water um, but with all of this structure down there, um, you know, it's certainly enough to attract a tremendous variety and number of fish. And uh, yeah, so right off, um, I'm seeing mangrove snapper right there near the bottom. Certainly lots of sheep's head. The things that look like angelfish are spade fish. And uh, that thing's a, a bucket hanging way in the back, and I have no idea what's in that bucket. Although the way the fish are gathering around it, maybe there's some food. Okay, right there. Um, that's a fish. It's like the size of a small car. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's pretty far off there under a different dock section, but that is a fish. And we're going to get to see that. You see that big mouth. I couldn't quite believe it when I saw it on my phone. I thought I just wasn't seeing things correctly. Yeah, we're going to work our way over there and, and check that out. Uh, but, you know, like I said, this is only six feet of water. It's not um, what I would expect. But, okay, so look at the sheep's head out, um, pecking along the bottom. And, uh, yeah, there's that, that big one under the other dock section. Um, and, you know, certainly these pilings, you get lots of um, barnacles growing on them. So the, the sheep's head and so forth um, go in there and, and eat that. Uh, so this is a... Uh, there's several dock sections here, and um, this is a different one, not the one that's got that big, um, it's a Goliath grouper. Um, we're looking at a, a different section than we first started looking at. And again, six feet, um, pretty much the same characters. But what will be interesting is when we move this to a different part of the dock, pretty similar to where <clears throat> you saw in the beginning of the video where I was driving the drone, we're going to see almost a completely... Um, different collection of fish than what we're seeing here but hey this is pretty cool to watch you know I I could watch this stuff all day long it's um, interesting to see what the fish are doing and you know the advantage here is by using this camera setup I'm able to drive it under the dock my cam my uh, kayak is back away so I'm not in there spooking anything and I can move it around that guy right on the bottom that little black one looks like a small grouper of some sort he's not he's probably like seven inches long here he comes over in this yeah that's a grouper so i'm guessing that's a small black grouper um so definitely a lot of species here okay let's go down and get the first look at the big guy and this is southwest florida by the way uh, water temperature probably about 75 degrees oh yeah um yeah i mean what can you say and all right, so trying to get some scale, you know. So the pilings, you know, standard pilings, so they're like, you know, 8-inch diameter. So how many of those pilings from one end of the other if you wanted to measure this fish? Um, a lot of pilings. The other thing is these dock sections are 8 feet. I'm not going to tell you that this fish is 8 feet long. But I'm going to tell you that the dock section is 8 foot. And we're going to get to look at this thing from a couple different angles. And clearly its nose is up to the pilings on the one side and we're going to get to see how close the end of the tail is to the pilings on the other side of the dock section and um, I, I can't even begin to guess what something like this weighs. I can tell you that when I looked up Goliath grouper they say that they 
can grow in excess of uh, eight feet, 800 pounds. You know, certainly this is several hundred pounds, but how many hundred, I really d couldn't tell you. Um, amazing, the fish just swim around him. I guess when he wants to eat something, he eats it. Uh, oh, so some movement now. So I guess the movement was in response to some boat waves. Um, and wow, that really attracted a lot of fish, like a redfish, several snook, a lot of sheep's head. This is kind of kind of strange how um, those waves just really move some fish around. Um, but a lot of life, it's just remarkable. All right, here's where we can get a better feel for the length in relation to this eight-foot dock section, because we're going to get to be able to see the right-hand side uh, from the back angle a little bit. Um, boy, that, that tail is enormous. So clearly the head is up near that piling, and, and there you go. Um, like I said, I'm not going to tell you that's an eight-foot fish, but I will tell you that's an eight-foot dock section that's stretched across. And my goodness, what a creature. Hey, you see he's got some line hanging out of there, too. Uh, I'm surprised he doesn't have more than that. It's uh, going to take a lot to land that on rod and reel. Okay, a different dock section. I was able to drive this, the drone all the way underneath, which was uh, what I was hoping to do. And um, boy, you get a good look at all of the stuff that's down there. And you're definitely seeing some, some more snook this time. However, what uh, a takeaway that I'm going to have from this video is this is not where the bulk <clears throat> of the snook are, which was surprising. I would have thought this is the place for them, and it's not. And where we're going to find them is, uh, you know, to me counterintuitive, especially on a bright, sunny. It, it's actually a very calm day. It's the only way I can use the the camera drone is if it's calm. You would think on a bright, sunny day like this, they're going to be in, in the deeper section you know, all the way under the dock right here. This is where I expect them. And sure, yeah, there's a few in here, but um, we're going to see more elsewhere. And hey, other than uh, jellyfish, what's the best bait for those um, those angelfish, those spadefish that we're seeing? Because some of them look like they're pretty decent size. And I know that they use something called cannonball jellyfish on the East Coast. And it, to my now, I haven't seen them. You know, it's not something I've seen. So it's not something I have ready access to. Uh, um, I was told, you know, clams, squid. So, yeah, any tips you can have on catching the angelfish. I know there's some small ones here, but you know, occasionally I'm seeing some decent ones. And, oh, we would like to catch a few and see how big they are. I hear they're, um, they're good to eat. All right, one last look at this guy. But this time we're going to get a really great view of the head. Uh, then we're going to move on to a different section of the dock. But all you can see is eye and, uh, wow. Okay, we're going to drop down on uh, the part of the dock where you saw the drone heading uh, at the beginning of this video. So it's uh, more exposed, it's shallower, um, a lot more sunlight. And hey, look at the difference. You know, we didn't see mullet up underneath the dock and, you know, we're loaded with mullet here. I, I don't recall, we saw like maybe one redfish. I don't recall seeing more than one redfish under the deep section of the dock. But there we go. One, two, there's a couple of reds right there. Um, certainly... I've seen more reds here. There's a, that looks like a small black drum right there to the left. That's not a um, sheep's head. Apologize for the shaking here. Got a little bit of, of wave action going by. Uh, what's interesting is if you look way out farther, um, that's where the snook are. There's a lot of snook lined up out there. And that is where, uh, and I had some shakier video that I just can't show, but it, it was a, it showed the same thing, that out there farther, past all these mullet, there's a lot of snook. And I definitely would have expected those guys to be underneath the dock somewhere. If, you know, I would have thought they were under the main dock um, where the grouper was, but no, um, there were only a couple there. But there's a fair number of them off in the distance, although we're having trouble seeing them because of all the the mullet, but I mean, look at the difference in life. Now you can see those snook out there. Yeah. Yeah. So the bulk of the snook are a little bit away from the dock. They're out in the sunlight. Um, 
you know, interesting. And, and, uh, and hey, that's part of why I did this is I, I want to see how things are going to distribute around this kind of structure. And this was not intuitive to me that they would be where they are. Um, and here's a nice look as we're taking the drone back. There goes a, a redfish and boy, there's snook and there's all the mullet, a couple more redfish. And again, this is in a, a shallower section um, away from that main section where we saw all of the uh, the uh, spade fish and the big grouper and everything else. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I like doing this stuff. I like to learn what's down there and what they're doing. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and check out my online courses at saltstrong.com Skinner.